Hey guys, what's up? Joe here from Merch University, and I'm gonna be talking about some Create Space. And so um, let's just go through here, and we are going to uh, just find something we can do, do something really basic, really simple, just so you can get the idea of the process. And so um, you can come to Amazon, and then um, you can type in journals. Um, and actually, just right here, um, I have this. Uh, actually, I have this Chrome extension, um, and uh, it tells you all the keywords that relate to journal. So it says journals to write in for women, um, journals for men, journals for girls. And I want to find one that kind of has like a purpose, and because I want to just make that just really simple, really easy, easy to use. And so um, maybe we can find one here. Let me see here. Uh, let's see here. Art journals and sketchbooks, lock journals and diaries for adults, um, journals with scripture, Bible verses, quotes, prompts. Um, let me see here. I think I saw one for journals for food. All right, let me see your weight loss. So type that in. Looks like there's like a thousand results. So maybe we can do journal for weight loss and food. Let me see if that comes up with anything. That kind of slims it down to 750. Um, So, and so let me see here. And I pretty much just want to make a, um, a food journal and maybe weight loss tracker or food journal and, um, yeah, maybe food journal and weight loss tracker. That's mainly what I want to do. And so you can kind of get an idea of how these how these are I mean there's some simple ones right here uh, some food ones here let me see here all right let's just try let's just try one so let's go to canva right here and then um, when you do it, you select it. You can select out of all these things you want to make. But I always just go to um, down here. If you scroll down to blogging and ebooks, I always go down to this book cover right here. And I just select the default. Oops. Let's see here. It's not working. All right. There, there. Now it's working. Um, Sometimes you can scroll down here through all of their, they have some free free ones you could use. So maybe we can um, try one of these out. Maybe we can find something simple and how maybe we could change, change something about it. And so maybe we could find something with some food on it. And um, let me see here. Some of these are not free, and some of these you'll um, you'll have to buy if you want to use some of their artwork, some of their covers. So some of these are free, and some of them you have to buy. Trying to find something that relates to fitness or food. One of those. I mean, there's a couple, but we're just searching through here. I mean, we can make our own, but let's just try to find one of these just to use to help for, for today's tutorial. Oh, look, there's a one right there. 
All right, let's, I think we can use that. And so you put it in here and it already puts it in the box for you. So now we can just change it, change it around. We could just put, um, we, can we can delete this if we want, just delete her name. And then, because um, we want a food and fitness journal anyway, so maybe we could do, uh, let's see here, food and fitness. Um, how about food and, uh, food and, not fitness, but uh, weight loss. That's what I want, weight loss. Oops. Maybe we can make this just a little bit bigger. So there you go. Got a, and we could we could even change this up. We can let's change out the color, make it maybe yellow or something. Let's see here, food and weight loss journal. Um, let me see if there's any elements we could add to it. Maybe. Uh, let's see here, food. So I know this is taking a while, but I just kind of want to show you like the process, how really how long it takes to to make something like this, to make something, to change it out. I mean, we could even, you know, um, delete that image, you know, and we could add our own image, you know. We could even add um, these greens down here, you know. Um, just ch change it out, you know. We can even change this background right here. We can make it like a blue background, you know. You know, we could change. We could even change the um, the font. You know, I kind of like don't like that font a little bit. So you could change change it around a little bit. Um, make it wet. Make it however you want. You know, make it where people could still read it, but make it different. Here we go. There you go, make it food and weight loss journal. Might even make the words a little bigger if we can. Nope, it's gonna cut off our words, so we better just leave it at 72. And we can center it. And I wonder if there's anything that has to do with like like a weight loss scale or something. If we could find a like a free one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I like that. There we go. That looks that looks kind of okay. I kind of don't like this font. Let me let's find a different font. I know this is taking a while, but. Just want to show you guys. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, food and weight loss journal. And then we got this down here. Maybe we could make it a little bit bigger. Down here. And then, I don't know if we want to keep it this color, maybe we could change it back to white. See what that looks like. 
food and weight loss journal. I kind of like that. Let's just leave it like that. And then we will download it uh, to um, a PNG file. Or uh, not PNG, but JPEG. So we'll download it that. Take a few seconds to download. And then um, actually on the back of it, um, I want to have just like the greens of it. So for the back cover, um, we'll see if we can delete all of this. Even delete this here. And maybe we can move this to the top here. And then, or maybe it's put it like here, right here in the middle. And so, and then we'll download this because we're going to make this our back cover. I've never done this before, but we're just going to, we're going to try it out, try something new. Um, so whatever you have on your title, you have to have, uh, whatever you have, the title of your book has to match the title of your what you put in your title so food and weight loss journal so okay so let's go over here to um, start a new project and we will and we'll put food um, and weight if I can spell it right journal and then it's gonna be paperback and then um, push expert expert and so that's what someone when they were telling me about it they were always telling me to do it this way and then you could put um, journals for women journals for men or journal for men journal or journal yeah journals for women um, weight loss journal all right there's a few of these and then um, for your name um, I just been putting my last name clay I don't know not really nothing crazy and then what you do next is you'll come down here and put um, create space assign uh, we'll assign an ISB into your book at no charge and then here's here's where you need to come up with a template. If you have a template already, you can do that. But what I prefer are there's a couple of ways. There's a free one out there you can buy, or uh, you can get. And then I also I use Tangent templates right here. And I was looking at them, and you, I think it's like sixty fifty or sixty dollars to get this. And there's forty different templates you can have. You can choose from. If you see all of these, there's sheet music. There's guitar tabs. Um, there's half wide rule, um, half graph, you know, all kinds of stuff here. If you can just check it out, uh, calligraphy paper, cursive paper, journal paper, handwriting, knitting, um, ukulele. But what I want to do is, I want to, um, I want to, I, I found this one that they have, and it's uh, like it says Greg Shorehand U.S. paper. But this is what I want to use just because it has that line in the middle so people can track each day like their food and then they can track their um, their weight loss you know for that day or whatever so click on this click on this one and then what it does it'll bring you down here to this generator PDF for you so I want to make it six by nine and then the page count I wanted to make it a um, hundred a hundred pages and then all you have to, and then it kind of gives you a preview of what it looks like and then all you have to do is download it so it, it's it's da it downloaded for me so um, that's all you have to do for that and then you come back to your documents and then it's already the default is six by nine and I heard that's like the, the most popular size out there so what you do that is you just select that um, oh, if you were going to choose a different size, you would choose it there. But it's, it's already chosen for you, so you don't. You don't. I wouldn't have to. Re, I wouldn't have to reselect it. Then you choose black and white, and then you choose paper white, and then um, right here is where you choose your um, interior. 
So you'll get your interior, you'll go to browse, and then you'll find your interior. This is the Greg shorthand paper that you found. And then you'll go to ends after the edge of the page. And then you'll launch your uh, cover creator. And so we'll wait for that. And so, look, we've already been working on this for 15 minutes for one book. But I'm just trying to tell you, you know, I'm just trying to show you, you know, the how you can do it. Okay, so, all right, it's loading up this, this cover creator for you. And um, you can choose one of these, you know. So, there's one back here. If you keep scrolling back here, there's only five pages of them. But you can use any of these if you want. If you don't want to, if you just want to put a title or anything on here, you can just use one of these. So, uh, here's one right here that I want to use. I want to, I either use, I use, here, just try this one. I've never used this one before. So, this one's called, I know that's on here, though. The Palm uh, 6x9 Spineless. So, and then I uh, want to upload, this is the front cover image. So, this is the front cover. And so, I need to find my, uh, you find it my document all right there's the there it is right there there's one of them there's the first one <coughs> and so we'll let it upload and it actually fits really perfect in there but if you could if we could have went back and you saw the um, one before remember how it was kind of up here and the words were kind of up here. Let me see if I can go back, backspace it, and get it to where it was. And if you see, like on this one, if it was a little bit, um, how it cut it, look how it cut it. Let me see, where's it at? Uh, cover creator. See how it kind of cut off the top and cut off that bottom part? So um, I would have had to come and change it where it was, but because um, it, it cut it off right here and it cut off right here. So I actually kind of spaced it correctly. Um, and I always try to make sure to leave a little space around here just because of that whole purpose. Okay. And then uh, for the back cover, let's see here. The back cover is right there, which it will, it will cut off some, but um, it's going to upload it. There you go. There's that. And I think that looks really good. And so um, I never used this template before, like I said. And then we got to choose a spine color right here down the middle. So um, maybe we could just pick white. Like a white spine cover. There you go. Just something simple. I could have chose black. I could have chose, chose green. But I'm just going to choose a white spine cover. And then, um, let's see here, got everything here. And then the next, I will submit my cover. And so sometimes it could come up where it says, this cover is not ready yet, uh, try again. And if it does that, all you do is push try again and pretty much just go through the same steps and just make sure everything's uploaded, you know, take your time. And then um, it'll come on here. So now there it is right there, everything's done. Um, and so that we're done with that part. And then so um, I, we're choosing glossy. And then here you come to the description. And you could put, um, you know, food, food and weight loss, journal. Let's go back to that one we saw over here, some, some of these. Um, food and weight loss journals. Let's see what let's see what they have and kind of how how they put in their description. It says study show keep track of what you eat is one of the best ways to manage your weight. Um, the easy use of this log book allows you to jot down tools, food you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks. Um, talks about exercise, glasses of water, compact book, removable cover band. Okay, so 
that one is not a create space one I don't think it is um, here's another healthy one it looks like it has um, in the title it also has six by nine food and journal um, activity tracker meal and exercise notebook 120 pages so maybe we could do that we could put um, up here we can put uh, title maybe we could put um, six by nine 100 pages you know just something uh, I could put uh, food and exercise journal um, to keep track of the calories that's like a keyword calories you eat you eat daily and also um, keep track of your weight loss um, and say this book is or this journal is six by nine um, with a hundred pages and let me let me see what else we can find what other people are doing we can look at um, let's see here maybe we could put um, let's see here food and weight loss journal to keep track of calories you eat daily to keep track of weight loss um, this journal is perfect um perfect i don't know perfect gift to give someone um who was on a diet who or maybe who wants to lose weight lose weight and eat cleaner there you go there we go i don't know that's something it's something you know um, and then we'll come down here to this uh, you choose your category um, let's see here what we can pick health and fitness maybe and then maybe we could put Weight loss, body cleansing, detoxification, diet and nutrition, diets. Let's put diets on here real quick. And it just comes up with something general. Mm, let me see here. Diet and nutrition. Weight loss. I will say we'll, we'll we'll try that one out with weight loss, and then you push choose this category again, so that way it makes sure it's done, and then um, author or biography. You leave it. I don't leave. I don't touch any of these words. Okay, here is where you push search keywords. This is the keywords that you're going to put in here, and it says um, search keywords can help the title show up on both Amazon.com and search engines. Pick phrases that you think customers are likely to use when either searching for your title specifically or when shopping for products that may be similar in the subject matter. You can add up to five keyword phrases separ separated by commas, and they can be, uh, I think it says 25 characters. So maybe we could put um, weight loss journal. Or here we can go back up to here to um, the top here. So, weight loss, we could put weight loss uh, journal and planner, uh, weight, loss, weight loss journals to write in for women, weight loss journal for men, um, weight loss journal small, 
How about we put in the top one is just weight loss journal. So let's just put that in. Weight loss journal. Oops. Weight loss journal. And then, um, let's see here. How about food journal? Let's go back and type that in. Food journals for weight loss. Food journals for tracking meals. Okay. That might be too many word, too many, I think. Let's see here, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, How about um, food journals, weight loss? <laughs> we'll type that in. And then uh, let's see here. Um, let me see what else I said. Um, we could put tracking meals and fitness diary. We could put tracking meals, fitness diary. Um, let's see what else we can put. One more. Let's see here. Daily food journal. There we could do that. All right. All right, and then we'll select um, Amazon.com, and we'll select Amazon Europe. And then um, let's come down here and put in the price. So it says the minimum price for this title is three fifty nine. So I'm going to put in six ninety nine and push calculate. And then I want to see the price. I, I I heard somewhere that the price could change if you add libraries and academic institution and um, institutions and create space direct. But we'll see. So we'll put in this. Uh, Libraries and academic institutions, and we see. No, it's still the same. Let's see this one. Create space direct. And it's still the same, so it's okay. And then I've never added this one down here. I've never tried it. So we're going to leave the price $6.99. Uh, and it looks like the royalty is $204. So... And then it says all incomplete, but that's because we haven't pushed submit for review yet. So once we push this, it could tell us that something is wrong. So we'll push it and we'll wait to see if something is wrong. If not, then um, we should be good to go. Okay, it says description must be completed before submitting review. So let me make sure everything. Okay, uh, it must be this one. Food journal for weight loss. I think it's over. So let's just put in um, food journal. And then so we'll come back down here we'll resubmit it because that's what I think when we were talking about it that it was too long at uh, longer than 25 characters in that whole keyword okay there it goes okay here's what it says those files are checked within 24 hours to ensure your setup information is correct and your files are printable you'll be emailed the result once your review is complete so what they'll do is once they email you back they'll you'll pull it up and it'll come up to this exact exact page and what you do is you push this button proof your book and then it'll, it'll show it it'll show a, um, a space down here and it says you can do digital proof your book and you know you at first I thought you had to buy it but you don't have to buy it you just digital proof it so you push digital proof it'll come back up with that same screen like um, where it 
where you put in like your book cover and then um, pretty much all you do is you can look through your book if you want but all I do is open it up and once I open it up I push exit and then I after that I just push approve you know the proof of the book and so I push it then it says okay and then it says um, this book will be available in the Amazon store within three to five days and so which it which it doesn't usually take that long but they I guess they just tell you that it could just be later on like a few hours and it will come up but that's it and you're done and then that's your book I hope you guys enjoyed this leave some comments um, I'm still new I'm still learning this so this is just kind of like my process for what I'm doing but I'm sure there are tons of different ways to make covers to you know keywords uh, descriptions I mean just there are tons of ways to do you know all this stuff there's everybody has their own way but I hope this helps in some way but um, that's all I got for you guys and I hope you guys have a great day thank you